Well, I don't know about you guys, but now that we know that the next OC uh, Shadow is going to be the Cerberus, I am making sure that Season 2 I do damn well in, in preparations for the... Yes, there we go. I am preparing for the group rewards, because I want to get my Cerberus ranked up. Alright, and so we are not messing about. Obviously, to those that have skipped out on Tusk, I mean... Well, then again, you're saving your shards in preparation on if, if the Cerberus will be more valuable for you. Um, which could be a smart thing, because obviously, after the Cerberus, we won't have an original Shadow or any Shadows releasing the month after. So it gives us a bit of a break. So, But anywho, the Battle for Time Season 2 is officially open, and look who it is. It is the Cerberus. Now, I'm going to be honest, this Cerberus Loki is kind of tough. So this is my current time. It is what it is. As long as I get in a good spot with my current server, I'll take it. Um, so I'm going to try and beat that time and try and give you guys a helping hand on the way I'm kind of going about doing it. And yes, Nam is here. She is a beauty of a specimen. If you have her, throw her in. So just to give you guys the rundown on what I'm working with, um, realistically when you are doing the Cerberus run, you want Nam and Jiru. You want these two. These two are your breakers. The key thing about this raid is you have to break as soon as possible. If you don't, it's going to prolong your time. The quicker you break, the more easier it will be to actually drain the Cerberus health a lot faster so these two units are going to be crucial now with that what I have actually done is I've actually taken off the crit gear for my um, Jiwu and I've fully catered to the um, uh, what you call it the solid analysis set so as you guys can see the user's damage dealt to enemies in the break state increases by 15% don't really care about that it's well I mean that's not too bad if the enemy is broken then then that would effectively do some sort of damage when the Cerberus is down but it's for the four set so when attacking enemies that have elemental weakness the break effect increases by 30% that's what we're kind of hoping for and going with of course so I'm gonna hope and pray that helps me out but pretty much that's kind of like the only gear change I've kind of went with obviously with Nam, I've kept it as is to how it was before in terms of um, the break and executioner set of course so there's that uh, in terms of the weapon that I'm using Katana Grimoire pretty much pr pretty standard um, shadows, I've got the attack increase on, which I, I'm, I, I might switch between Igorus because I might see if, if, if I can get a higher crit going on, maybe that might help me out, I'm not too sure. But that's kind of what I'm going with right now. Um, at least it's just there to kind of freeze the enemy as well as do damage, that, that's basically it. I will say that with your team comp, if you don't want to run Elysia, you can throw in Chai Yen, um, you can throw in Min, um, you can throw in Choi. I know someone who used Choi, if you want another breaker, you can throw in another, an another breaker. If you want to throw in ammo, you can, um, or even um, you know, wait. What's the? Actually, don't throw in Choi. I just realised he's strong. Yeah. Don't, don't, actually, what can you? Nah, dad. Yeah, don't, don't throw in Choi. Okay. Oh, um, actually, what well, Emma might help might be able to help you out on the breakage if that's what you need. But um, anyway, that's just kind of food for thought. If you, if you guys want to switch up the last unit, and then in terms of what I'm working with. Um, so these are the blessing stones that I'm going with, and then with the skills, uh, I'm keeping it with the almighty break because we need that. And then when it comes to doing AOE damage, um, just to kind of kill all the grunts at the very beginning, it's going to be the absorption because it kind of sucks the enemy in and then pretty much okos them of course. So that's pretty much what we're uh, going with. And that is pretty much everything. So we're going to see if we can get ourselves a good time here. Beat one, was it, was it 1.34? But essentially, that's kind of like uh, the setup that I've been kind of messing about with and just trying to improve. Again, Alicia's. Well, beforehand, when I did the run, I had. Um, I didn't have Alicia. I had. Uh, who did I have on? I, oh, yeah, I had Malin on. But then I was just like, do I need Muffed or do I need more power? And I was like, you know what? Let me bring in Alicia who does more damage. And it worked out. Um, to be a lot more quicker than running, you can run melee. Just an FYI, you can if you don't if you, if you don't have Elysia or if your Elysia isn't doing too much damage and you want to rely on the buffs for Jim Wu, then yes, you can go down that route. Um, but for me personally, I found it more quicker with this. But I know that melee is also uh, a viable option, so maybe I might do better with her. I'm not too sure. But let me run a turn. All right, let's do this. So dash forward, dash forward, dash forward. Just kind of I wait for them to kind of keep up a tad bit, which I think they have, and then just go straight in. Activate the Grimoire, if you're lucky that'll Oko 9 seconds and then we're straight off with the Cerberus. So straight thing what I want to do, so I'm going to dash forward, I'm going to activate uh, Nam right here. And then activate everyone else. What? How is that breakage? What? 
Bro, look at his brake bar. What is going on? Okay, hold up. This is ridiculous. Okay, I'm still going to run this, though. Brake. Thank you very much. Nam. Thank you very much. I just need everyone to drop out and come out. There we go. No, you don't. Quickly. Oh, I could have done more damage. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Okay, let's go. I've not been looking at the time. This is one thing that I don't like to do. I like to keep it a surprise. So, <laughs> maybe this is a bad run. But I feel like... Uh, I, need, I need more breakage power. I mean, yeah. Okay, yeah, I've, I've already scuffed it. <laughs> I've, I've, I've already scuffed it. Okay, well, this is going to be the end of it. So, GG. Alright, I'm not, I'm not looking at the timer. I'm not looking. I need to beat 134. What did I get it doing? What did I do in? Oh! oh! 128! Okay. 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 If I can get that little bit more breakage power, we can do this. Alright, let's go. Let's see if we can do something different now. Okay, I waited a little bit there. I shouldn't have done that. Okay. Go! Bro, that run... Oh, well, then again, I was only a second quick. I mean, uh, a second late on this one. Okay, that's fine. Right, let's uh, dash forward. There we go. Bro, he always lives on one. What is this? Oh, my God. Does this... <laughs> Does something help me in the break? Oh, Jesus Christ, I need something. I need something, man. Oh, my God. Okay. No. What? There we go. There we go. Okay, I should I should use the katana there. That that, that would have been more beneficial. I mean, yeah, I, I, I scuffed it up again. Oh my god, I'm making such bad choices. Wait for it. Now. Not freezing. Okay, I'm gonna just gonna wait a that bit. Now go for it. See if this helps me out. Maybe I should not. I don't think Elise is the, the key here. Although she does help me out in damage. <gasps> hey, 127. It was a good 127. Did we take it? Did we take it? Oh, <laughs> you've got to be kidding me! Look. Alrighty you guys, so um, your boy did it. Happy days, happy freaking days. So you're watching the run of me getting my best time. I'm not going to lie, I've been sitting here for just over an hour. Yeah, I have. <laughs> oh my god, so many trial and error, trial and error, where it eventually freaking happened. So the only switch up that I made was I switched up a blessing to where I, if I crit the enemy, um, I can actually decrease his breakage bar. And obviously with the runs beforehand, which you guys saw, I was always like a centimeter or like a millimeter off of actually breaking which is super super annoying but thankfully there was something in place where I can effectively reduce the gauge to where I can actually break and again that's kind of like the key factor for the Cerberus the quicker you break then the quicker you're able to do more damage and uh, yeah it worked in hand and um, again you guys have seen pretty much the outcome I don't know if the video is done or not I'm just kind of winging it but <laughs> either way um, I'll let it play out. If it's finished, then it's finished. But it, it, yeah, this was the run. Unworthy opponent. You're an unworthy opponent. <laughs> so yeah, one thirteen is my current time. Um, I feel like I can beat it. And I think by saying that, I just need to mess about with maybe Alicia's spot. I don't know if Maylin can help me out here with the buffs. But um, if you guys wanted to know what the change was, is that um, on the Blessing Stones, um, I took off 
the uh, yeah, I took off this blessing stone and I added fatal strike. Your target's break gauge instantly decreases by three percent when you land a critical hit. So when I dashed forward and then used the katana, I was dealing crit hits, which means I was decreasing the gauge with each hit by three percent. And I only needed uh, well, technically I only needed one hit because that was more than enough, and then that allowed me to get the breakage at the very first uh, thing, right? Well, when we do the Cerberus fight, so that was the only difference that I've made um, to get that breakage point.